Yeah, g'day everyone. Um, today I'm just going to show you how to get awesome data free on your charter, on your chart plotter. How to get awesome contours, community layers, and um, GPS marks like of wrecks and and stuff that are public. Um, public. This is how to get your chart maps up to date with sick contour lines. Um, works anywhere in the world, anywhere. Um, works for most chart plotters. You're going to have to follow along and work out if yours works and see if your card's compatible but you have to do some research there but if you want awesome awesome charts and uh, see it like wrecks like this how they're already preloaded exactly like what you're seeing now on your sounder just follow along so it might be a bit hard if you've got your sounder on your boat but I've bought an extra cord so I can bring mine next to my computer um, you're gonna have to work along with that but anyway let's get into it if you like the video leave us a like if you don't like it hit dislike um, yeah if you need any help just comment and I'll try and do my best to help um, yeah let's get started yeah so get your card out of your um, plotter and then you're gonna need a card reader or a laptop or somewhere you can plug in a USB card your little micro card um, it just looks like You'll get that, so you can either plug that in, or the little, the little card, the little micro card that's there, that can plug in as well. we'll take that out, and um, yeah. So first thing you want to do is head over to the computer. Yep. So you go to. So now we want to type in Navionics into Google on the computer. Go to Navionics, click Navionics, and we want download updates. So you click onto this page, download the new chart installer. So click download there, click that one. And then once you download that, install it. So it'll be in your downloads, click download, install, yes, blah, blah, blah. Once it's installed, you'll get something like this. And once you sign up, you gotta sign up for Navionics. It's best if you do. Um, I've, I'm not going to show you how to sign up. So anyway, most you, once your card's in, you, you click on this here, and what you want to do is update your. You want to update. So first, you want to pick what, um, what do you call it? What uh, chart plot you have? So you, you you've got a selection. You pick your manufacturer. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And then once you do that. So I've got Lawrence, click Lawrence, I've got a HDS, I've got a HDS 8. Continue, and it'll set it up, because it formats your card for, for your plotters. Different plotters have different formats. So yeah, so then you want to update. So then I've got nautical charts, and they're big downloads. Like you can see, it's five, half, a, half a gig, it's one gig, and community, community edits. So that's sonar charts, so the contours, you want to tick that box. Community edits, that's that's for GPS marks and um, people who sync their data. Um, it's, I recommend having this. I recommend having them all selected. Um, then you click start. I'm not going to do it because I've, I've already done it. You click start. It takes about half an hour. And then once it's finished, that's it. You grab your grab your memory card out, put it back, in the, back into your plotter. And this part will be different to various um, like obviously I can only show you for this Lawrence HDS which is an old school one um, but what you want to do it'll be you'll just have to find it work it out on your own um, plotter but you go to settings and you want community layer selected you want fish and chips selected and um, that's it and then you've got all the data and it's sick I highly strongly recommend it like, I bought my card about, oh, I think it was about a year ago or something, and they, they um, you put it in, so I've got two years of free updates, keeping my chart up to date, and uh, yeah, anyway, hope that's helped you out, and uh, keeping your plotter up to date, cheers.